Hi, I'm Raj Kumar, President and Editor-in-Chief of DevX, here again at European Development Days in Brussels, I'm joined now by Ambassador Bruno Figueroa, who is the uh, Ambassador and Director General for the Mexican International Cooperation Agency, um, something which has just been started in the last few years and that you were integral in starting. So I thought maybe for DevX members who may not be so familiar with what Mexico is doing in, in international cooperation, you could just tell us a bit about Mexico's approach and what the agency is doing. Yeah, fine. Thank you for the invitation. Sure. Uh, the Mexican agency is only two years old, but in fact Mexico has been doing international cooperation for decades. You might be surprised, for instance, to know that the Green Revolution actually started in Mexico, not far from Mexico City. Hmm. It started in the 40s as a project by the Rockefeller Foundation with the Mexican government yeah. to improve seeds, first of corn, and then of wheat. And just imagine, this is one of uh, the international activities with the largest impact in history. Sure, it's probably having, the biggest development intervention in world history. That's maybe. right, having, one of the biggest, having stopped hunger in countries such as India and yeah. other countries in Asia. And talking about public-private partnership, mm -hmm. we are talking about in the 40s, a private foundation of funding such an important project with the Mexican government. Mm -hmm. And then the Mexican government provided experts to many countries in Africa, in Asia, in South America, uh, to teach about those new seeds. Mm -hmm. So this is one example of what Mexico has done in international cooperation 50 years ago. Hmm. And where are you headed now? What is the new agency all about? Well, what we are doing now is getting more capacity getting more funds mm -hmm. for more impact in particularly in our closest geographical area that mm -hmm. is Central America, the Caribbean and South America. Mm -hmm. But we also do some uh, international cooperation in Africa and some parts of Asia. And a lot of the funding you're sending through multilateral institutions like the World Bank or the Inter-American Development Bank, is that right? Well, that's right. Until now we channel most of our cooperation through a multilateral development bank, the Inter-American mm -hmm. Bank, uh, UN system, very important, UNDP, mm -hmm. uh, UNICEF, FAO, I mean. Do you think uh, that will continue or are you hoping to build your own capacity to manage projects directly, directly fund NGOs? Well, it is always important to support the international system, mm -hmm. development system, but also uh, our institutions that do have capacities uh, are doing more and more to provide more assistance and, and cooperation towards more countries around the world. And I imagine that part of the argument within Mexico for doing this kind of work is a national security issue and economic growth issue because of some of the challenges in Central America. Uh, is that right? Is that why the government is putting, putting money toward this kind of work? Well, of course, any country has its own choices regarding where to put its money. Mm -hmm. uh, and it has to do with geopolitics, history, and of course capacities. Mm -hmm. In the case of Mexico, we know that uh, the strength and stability of our neighbors are our own strengths and stability. Yeah. Uh, and so supporting the development of uh, Central America and the Caribbean will support our own development. And has it been hard to make that argument internally? Obviously Mexico is a middle income country, fast growing economy, but has a lot of poverty still. Uh, are Mexican voters aware of this kind of work? Do you feel like there's public, broad public support at this point, or is it still early, early stages in terms of the political support for international well, cooperation? Th this is a very good point, because uh, feelings are mixed. Mm -hmm. uh, Mexicans feel proud about doing, uh, providing international cooperation in abroad. That shows that we have uh, uh, something to teach to, to other people, but at the same time, when, when we face uh, some uh, internal uh, issues, for instance, when we had two hurricanes coming into Mexico the same day, uh, and then when uh, we do support the Philippines, mm -hmm. there are some people who ask, hey, why are right. you uh, uh, giving uh, money to other countries when we still face so many challenges? But that, that's a fact, and we have to live with that, teaching our mm -hmm. own people the importance of international solidarity. Right. Well, speaking of teaching, I wonder if 
if there are any lessons between Mexico and some of the traditional donors, like here where the European uh, Development Day is sponsored by Europe Aid. Um, Europe Aid has been you know, giving aid for many years. There's USAID and DFID. The traditional donors are out there. Now these emerging donors, like Mexico, with your new agency, uh, do you have a different approach in some ways? Are you looking at the traditional agencies and saying, we don't agree with the way they've done it, we've got our own way of doing things? So, or, or do you feel like you're planning to emulate what some of the traditional agencies have done? Well, we definitely feel distinctive from traditional donors. Mm -hmm. They, they have built for 50 years their own, let's say, their own rules mm -hmm. on, on engaging in international cooperation. We do not provide ODA. What we do is cooperation, and that is mostly knowledge sharing, exchange of, of uh, knowledge, um, technical cooperation. Mm -hmm. uh, we do uh, provide capacity building, so this is not much financial uh, transfer such as what is being done by traditional donors. Mm -hmm. Anyway, what we are doing more and more is to cooperate with traditional donors in activities to less developed countries yeah. through uh, mainly triangular cooperation schemes where they provide either funding for those activities or expertise with our own experts mm -hmm. and we intervene in countries where we Mexican uh, mm -hmm. know better how to do things. We like to tropicalize uh, many uh, lessons, mm -hmm. many, many uh, political schemes that can work very well in Europe, in North America, yeah. but then you have to tropicalize them <laughs> okay. to, to, into our countries in order to really be successful. Okay, very interesting, and we could continue to talk, but I, I know you've got a busy agenda here. Thank you for sharing some thoughts with us and our DevEx members. We will continue to follow what's uh, happening in Mexico. Okay, Thank I, you. I would like to add some words about Please. the first high-level meeting on effective development cooperation that will take place in Mexico City next year, in, right? in April next year. This will be a, a very important meeting uh, towards the setting of new development goals, the post-2015 development goals. What we really want to do is to help establish a truly new global partnership mm -hmm. where we can have the traditional donor countries, the least developed countries that traditionally have received uh, ODA, mm -hmm. plus the middle income countries like Mexico, all working together towards this very important goal, the setting of the new uh, development goals, uh, sustainable, and particularly uh, that are inclusive, that reach to everybody. It's a great message and an important time to be holding that conference. We will be covering it at DevX. Thank you for being here. Thank you.